This is a tutorial on how to do conical roof structures in The Sims 4 base game. I am sure that conical roofing pieces will be added to the game in a later expansion, but they don't exist yet. Hopefully this tutorial will be made obsolete by them whenever they get introduced, but until then, uh, there were some people who were recently asking for ways to construct conical roof sections um, for housing, especially people who are building Victorian houses, and I wanted to give a tutorial on how I do that. Uh, as you will see if you have watched my tutorial on how to build domes, most of the methodology that we use for building a conical roof piece is going to be the very same thing that we do for domes. It's just we're going to forget about making the pieces uh, concave or convex or uh, anything like that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make these two uh, conical roof pieces here. This one is uh, an octagon with a diameter of six, and this one is an octagon with a diameter of seven, um, and there are reasons why uh, they have differences from each other. I prefer the six for various reasons, um, essentially because all of the sides have even numbers of wall panels, and as we go through the tutorial you'll see why that can be important. So Let's start with the conical roof structure with a diameter of six squares. What you want to do whenever you start a complex roof structure is start with the piece that is going to be highest and for a cone it's going to be a piece that's uh, as close to the middle as possible. For us that means we're going to use hip roof sections and we want to put them in a place where a corner can touch the midpoint of a wall. Uh, that's very easy to do on this structure because all of our walls are two wall lengths in length and so all of them have a midpoint that can have a hipped roof on it. We can have the regular one here and it, me it meets the midpoint of four of our walls and then we can have the hipped roof here which meets the midpoint of our other four walls. Now which one is going to be tallest? Uh, when you're using a conical structure in this game right now, the piece that is most likely to be tallest is going to be your diagonal hip. And that is because a regular hip and a diagonal hip of the same approximate size, the diagonal hip is just not going to be able to be raised as high. See, this is as high as our diagonal hip will go, and this is going to be as high as our regular hip will go, and that's much higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back down to the height of the diagonal hip. It's actually a little bit higher than the diagonal hip, and if I lower it more, it'll see that it's a little bit lower than the, the diagonal hip. Uh, if you're really interested in making it exactly the same height, you can hold down the Alt key as you adjust your roofing, and it will adjust much more gradually there. That's closer to exact, but I'm not worried about being exact on this right now for the purposes of the tutorial. So that's our midpoint, our highest point on our cone, and as you can see we basically have a whole bunch of these ridges now coming down into points um, from the middle piece, coming down to the centers of each of our sides. Now what we want to do after we have our midpoint at the, hei the height that we want it is we're going to start putting in hip roofs all the way out to the sides, all the way out to our walls. Here this is a wall of length 2, so we're going to have a hipped roof of length 2, but I want to carry it all the way through to the other side. And once it's carried through the other side, then we'll adjust our height, and you can watch the, the sort of the white shadow of the roof to show you where your, end, your roof is going to end up being. And adjust your roof until the top point of the triangle, the peak of your lower roofing bit, matches up with the ridge of your higher roofing bit. Uh, we'll do the same thing over on this side. Make it two, pull it through to the other side, and then adjust it until the peak of our roof matches up with the ridge of the other, of the higher roof. All right, and then we'll do the same thing on the diagonal. Pull it through, raise it up until the peak, matches the ridge. And the last one. 
So that is actually uh, enough of a conical structure by itself, uh, if you would like. That is perfectly reasonable and acceptable. Um, I, however, like to maybe do something a little more finished around the edges. And I know that a lot of people who are building buildings, especially, you know, I'm doing this tutorial because of some people who are hoping for Victorian buildings, they like to use entablatures around their um, towers. The game calls them friezes, but they're clearly entablatures. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is show you how to finish the conical roof so that it can give a nice edge around the top of the entablature. What you want to do is you take a gable and you want to put it so that the flat side of the gable is along the flat side of uh, the hipped roof. Carry it all the way through and then flatten it down completely. Now a gable is going to go half a square out, if, if you don't adjust the eaves anyway, a gable is going to go half a square further than a hipped roof and that's really what's bringing us um, out to the edge of the entablature here is that the, the eaves on the gable are going out that half square and, and lining us up. Let's do the same thing over on this side bring it through and then flatten it down. All right, now it doesn't quite work that simply on the diagonal. I'll show you why. If I take a diagonal gable roof and I line it up with the side of uh, our diagonal hipped roof and pull it through all the way to the other side and then flatten it down, I actually have corners that stick out too far. And so how do I get rid of those corners? Well, what you do actually is you want to take your, I'll move it so that you can see it better. You want to take your flattened out uh, gable on the diagonal and you want to shorten it one square in each length. And then what you want to do is you want to extend the eaves one space. And if I put that now in the center of this conical structure, you can see that my corners match up. My heights don't match up, but we'll get to that in a second. I'll do the same thing over here. Instead of a gable that matches up with uh, the edge of this uh, diagonal hip roof, I'm going to move it over half a square, flatten it out, and extend my eaves. Now, I know you couldn't see any of that when I was doing that, um, but I hope you could see it on the first piece. I'll show you, actually let me just show you really quickly what that all looked like. So um, I shortened it by one, I extended it through, I flattened it down, and then I pulled out my eaves. That's the piece that I have over on the other side. Alright, once you've got all of those done, what you can do to match up the heights of all of your flattened out gables is if you take these little balls that are used for adjusting the curvature of the roof and you pull them down so that you make them as concave as possible, that will make all of the heights of all of these pieces magically the same. Voila, they're all the same. Now I'm going to just pick my roofing pattern. Let's go with, I don't know, pink on this one. There we go, now I have my conical roof and uh, with trim that matches as closely as possible to the entablature around a tower. And if you want to just finish off with some trim, then you can go ahead and do that. And there we go, that is how you make a conical roof on an octagon with a diameter of six. With some extra flourishes in case you're really into using the uh, tool that the game calls freezes. All right, so let's go and do the second conical roof structure now. And the main difference between these two is that we don't have sides that are all even on this one. The ones on the diagonal are even, but the straight edged sides uh, have an odd number of wall panels. And that means that since we want to start with a roofing piece that can touch the midpoint of an edge, we have to start with this hipped roof, because this hipped roof, the regular hipped roof, can touch the midpoint of four of our walls. But if I use the diagonal hipped roof, 
I can't touch the midpoint of the walls. Do you see? It's either going to be half a square short or half a square long. I just can't do it. It doesn't work. So this is not going to be our tallest piece. And because this is not going to be our tallest piece, we don't want to start with it. We'll start with our tallest piece. We know it's our tallest piece because it touches the midpoint of, uh, the corner of it touches the midpoint of an external wall. All right, well, let's make that as tall as possible. I mean, you don't have to make it as tall as possible for your conical roof, um, but I prefer it that way. Now, once you've done that, in, since we can't put a diagonal hip all the way to the edge, um, to the midpoint of this wall, we have to do two. And we'll do the two as best they fit. Similarly to the pieces over here, we want to now bring this up so that its point matches up with the edge of the taller piece. The peak of the lower piece matches up with the edge of the taller piece. And we'll do a second one. Here and raise it up until the peak of the lower piece matches up with the edge of the taller piece. All right, so now, instead of, like we have over here, two, um, two hips, one regular and one diagonal, brought up to a single point, uh, we have to use three hips for our middle. One that is taller than two that are shorter. Now that we've got our whole midsection done, we can just go around and do the triangles on the outside the same way we did on our early conical piece. We take our regular hip roof, pull it all the way through to the side. Now, because I don't have a ridge running right down the middle of this side, because this is not a side with an even number of wall panels, I still want to bring it up until the edges of my triangle match up with the edges, with the ridges of the taller pieces. But it's not going to be that top peak. It's going to match lower down. Um, but this is what, what I want to do. I want to match up the ridge of this triangle with the ridge of the higher piece. And then this peak is just going to be sort of floating out in the middle by itself. We'll do the same thing over here. Bring it up until everything matches. And on the diagonal we can go back to the regular way with which we are already accustomed, where we bring it up so that the peak of the lower piece matches the edge of the taller piece. And the peak of this is going to match up with the ridge above it. And that is basically how we do uh, a conical roof where not all of our sides are even. It requires an extra diagonal piece. Well, it doesn't have to be a diagonal piece, but it's usually an extra diagonal piece in the middle. And let's make this one yellow, just to make them all different colors. And we'll put an edge around it of this sort of golden brown. All right. And if you want to, of course, you can do a similar um, edging of the roof around an entablature on this tower. Uh, I just find that it works better in general, on an octagon where all of the sides uh, have even numbers of wall panels. So that is how I build conical structures. Sometimes I build more complicated conical structures than this, but they all use the same basic idea. Find your midpoint. Uh, the, the piece that's going to be right in the center is going to be the tallest, and it will always come out to the midpoint of, an, uh, of a side with an even number of wall panels. Uh, and then just work your way out from the middle to the next higher piece. Match up the, the top point of your lower piece to the ridge of your higher piece. And then just work your way out around to the outside. And you'll have yourself something that looks as close to a cone as you can get right now in the game. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and found it useful. If you have any questions, just let me know on the the forum page. Uh, I can usually be found there uh, without too much difficulty after the end of a work day. Um, I hope that I see some fantastically complicated roof structures from people coming up soon. Uh, thank you and have a good evening.